All right, so you may want to use headphones with a microphone with, uh, for your Zoom meetings and related stuff. And headphones are awesome uh, because you can put them on, a pair of headphones like this, you can get hyper-focused on your meeting with your microphone, it sounds better, you can hear the meeting, you're not interrupting them, all the rest of the family. Now there are a lot of different choices for microphones, uh, microphone style headphones. This is about headphones that are wired, not for Bluetooth headphones. Now if you're uh, interested in purchasing one, you don't have one, um, you have to do pay attention to the connector at the end, that's the trickiest part. All of these headphones, all of these wired headphones, have a three and a half millimeter jack at the end. Now this set of headphones is really old school. It has three pins, and those three pins um, indicate that there is no microphone on this one. This is an ancient set of headphones only, and there are is no microphone on there. Now if you reach into your drawer and you pull out a set of headphones that has a four pin connector on it, like that, that, uh, you can see there's four different conductors. That fourth conductor is for a microphone. You can see on here that there is an actual microphone. We'll use that in a few moments. Now you may buy, go out and buy yourself a gaming headset uh, like this. It obviously has a built-in microphone and uh, it has four conductors, which makes sense. That fourth conductor is for the headphones. Now you can also find or purchase today a set of gaming headphones that not ha that has two jacks on it, two three-pin jacks, and one would obviously be used for the microphone, and the other side would be used for the for the earpieces. So that gets rather confusing, and it also also depends on what kind of computer you have. This is a modern Macintosh computer. It only has one jack for a three and a half millimeter input. Uh, same thing with this modern newer computer here. This is a newer uh, Windows PC and it only has a single jack on it. And then that compares to an older computer. An older computer like this particular HP has two jacks on it. So you're in a whole different situation here with the number of jacks as well as the, the number of pins. So that's where these things come in. These are little adapters that I will link to in the next chapter. And these adapters are for those different situations. Let's say, for example, that you do dig out and around your house, you do have a four pin style of headphone, a modern headphone with a built-in microphone, but you want to put this in an older computer. How the heck do you do that? Well, you get one of these. For 10 bucks, this will convert this four pin conductor pin into three isolation pins, or two uh, different jacks with uh, three pins on each, which is perfect for mingling a modern headset with an older computer. Now you might be in the exact opposite situation. You have a older, or kind of older, with discrete, so one microphone and uh, one for the headset, and you need to hook this up to a more modern computer, then you would get this one. So it has a, a specific output for the microphone, a specific output for the uh, headset, and then this is your four pin for your more modern computer. So I'll go over which of these adapters are in the next chapter. Thanks. All right, so let's look at these plugs a little closer. These plugs are actually called TRS, which is an acronym for tip and ring and sleeve. Uh, these tip and ring and sleeves are actually conductors that connect internally onto the machine and they, they, conduct, they connect up to whatever electrical device, whether it's the microphone or the earpieces and they are insulated. There's a little tiny plastic insulator, sometimes it's white, uh, and it separates these three. So this has got three conductors. This TRS plug has three conductors. If you have some old headphones kicking around that look like this and there's only a single uh, three pin connector like this, the chances are good you cannot use this except for listening. There is no microphone. That's conversely uh, looked at compared to the TRRS plug. The TRRS adds another ring. So you'll see there's tip, ring, ring, sleeve. 
that fourth conductor is actually used for the microphone. So if you're lucky enough to have purchased some headphones or had some headphones come with an iPhone or another device over the last few years, you probably already have one of these and you already have a microphone built in. You don't necessarily need to go out and purchase one. And if you're lucky enough, you have a modern computer with a single three and a half millimeter input port, you'll be able to plug this directly in and, and be able to have meetings and a microphone at hand for, for much improved quality. If you do not have a newer computer, you have a computer with two jacks, no problem. We'll be able to use this with an adapter, which we'll go over in a second. Now, Often you'll see out there some gaming headsets that actually have two of these TRS audio plugs. And the, the two TRS audio plugs are made because one of them is, is used for the microphone. We'll see that in a second. If you have one of those style of um, gaming headsets with two plugs, you can easily plug it into an older style computer. But if you want to plug it into a modern computer, you will need an adapter. Let's go over the ideas for some adapters here. I really like StarTech.com. They make some great stuff. And this particular adapter, it says here, it turns a 3.5 millimeter audio output port into two distinct ports. One 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and one 3.5 millimeter microphone port. Let's look at that closer. Here we go with the four pins that we're familiar with. And then we see the uh, two female sides. One is connected directly to the microphone. There's a little microphone icon and this is the headset icon. Here's a close-up of the other end that plugs into your modern computer and you use it for this old style of gaming headset which hopefully you can still buy because they're pretty convenient. You have one side here for the uh, for one side and the microphone depending on the situation you have to line them up accordingly. You have to get the correct pins it's not a big deal. You'll see the icons. Sometimes they're black on black. They're a little hard to find, so you might want to put some kind of highlighter on them so you can see them. And either way, you connect it up to your modern computer like that. So it's a way of piecing together the older gaming headsets to a modern computer, and that works really great. The model number of this style is M-U-Y-H-S, and the last three letters are M-F-F. M-F-F is really an acronym for male, female, female. Now, the opposite side of that situation is in you have a you have a requirement to connect a four position headset to a computer that has separate microphone and audio ports. And this particular model is M U Y H S F M M. Uh, female, male, male. Let's have a look at that connector. Here's what it looks like up close. You would connect your four pin modern headphone jack into there and then these would go out to your older style of computer. This is pretty easy to see. This is not so easy to see. One of these definitely has a microphone icon on it and the other one would have the headphone icon. You have to line them up accordingly. You won't do any damage, but it just won't work. So you have to be cautious to pay attention closely to where these jacks are plugging into and you'll be able to mingle old and new that way as well. So I hope this helps.